Now, let's talk about Cisco Certified Internet Work Expert or CCIE certifications. What is it really? What are the advantages and benefits? And do we really need this on this generation where we already have too many vendors, too many technologies, and too many certification options? For those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host, name is Tina Armada, and I am your career and certification captain. And on this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, trivia and tutorials in cybersecurity, trivia and tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. So, what is a CCIE? It's a technical expert level certification offered by Cisco System. It's still considered by many as the most prestigious technical certification in the world. That is why the average salary of the CCIE is really that high. It's one of the first certification as it was introduced way back in 1993. This is even before CCNA and CCNP. One of the reasons why a company would hire you as a CCIE because the gold Cisco partnership and CCIE is one of the requirements. When you are hired as a CCIE, most likely you would be deployed into the most technically challenging network assignments. The program is divided into six different tracks, and in order for you to obtain the certification, you would need to pass two exams. The first one, the core exam, which is a multiple choice written exam. And the second one is the eight hour intense hands-on lab exam. So the core exams, such as Encore, DC Core, S Core, is also a requirement to be a CCNP. So if you're already a CCNP on a specific track, you are now eligible to take the CCIE lab exam. For example, you are already a CCNP security. You can now take CCIE security lab exam. The core exam is 400 US dollars and the lab exam is around 1,600 USD. The CCIE lab exam is really difficult and many people fail on their first attempt. That's after months, if not years of preparation. And it can't be done remotely. You must book your exam based on the available schedule. And there are only few CCIE testing center locations in the world, such as Sydney, Brussels, Tokyo, Bangalore, and few others. You need to recertify your CCIE by passing core exams. This is every couple of years. If you fail to recertify in two years, your CCIE would be suspended state. And if you're not able to recertify within another year, it will be expired. Cisco Expert Level Certification Program set to be the standard for internetworking expertise, not just CCIE. Oh, so we have more Expert Level Certifications. Yes, sir. We have Cisco Certified Design Expert or CCDE, this covers more design, budget, operational constraints. We also have Cisco Certified DevNet Expert. This focuses on automation and programmability on a wide range of Cisco technologies. There are also retired expert level certifications, such as CCIE Service Provider Operations, CCIE Storage, CCIE Voice, CCAR or Cisco Certified Architect, and many more. I still remember those days, almost a year of preparation, studying average of 45 hours a week. I skipped most gatherings. I always say no, not available when families and friends ask me to go out. And the girlfriend, she was always mad at me due to, of course, no time. And it's really worth it. I can't stress this enough, especially way back in 2010. Not too many CCI security uh, back in those days. And after passing the lab exam, 
I receive lots of opportunities. Really good money from many different countries. Now, is CTIE still important? It's still worth it on this generation where we have more valuable certifications. In cloud, we have AWS, Azure, Google Cloud certifications. We also have penetration testing certifications like offensive security and e-learn security. We also have DevOps and DevSecOps certifications and many others. You can't deny the fact that if you get the CCIE title, there's still a wow factor in your resume. You will still get more and more opportunities. And it's not just the certification. You will gain many things such as discipline, the ability to focus even under pressure, the ability to think fast technically, and many more. Is it still worth it? despite being difficult and very expensive exam. Well, that's the point. Do I recommend it? Depends on the track and your technical role. Let's say you are working as a network engineer and most of the time you handle Cisco routers and switches. Um, go for CCIE Enterprise Infrastructure or a CCIE Service Provider. For security, if your company is using various Cisco security solutions, such as Cisco Ice, Far Power, Umbrella, ESAWSA, etc., I would definitely recommend you to take CCIE security. I really believe it has even more value because of the number of platforms that you will be learning. Take note, Cisco is still the biggest security solution vendor, and the average salary of a CCIE is not going down. The question is, can we get the same salary of a CCIE without having a CCIE? The answer is yes. Today, we have many things to consider. One of these is the technology used by your company and other companies as well. You can have a CCIE salary, but you have to expand your skills and knowledge. And let's say you are working with many different secure solutions. You can combine your CCNP security with other vendor certifications as well, such as F5, Palo Alto certifications, and checkpoint certifications, or even Fortinet certifications. Or if you're working with Cisco security solutions and you also do security assessment and penetration testing, you can combine your CCNP security with e-learn or offensive security certifications. Or if you're working as a security architect or security manager or security auditor, you can combine your CCNP security with CISSP, CASP+, or CISA. For cloud and data center, let's say you are working with software-defined networking and hybrid cloud, you can combine your CCNP data center with any cloud solution architect certifications, such as AWS, Google Cloud, Azure, and you can also combine it with F5 or Kubernetes certifications. Or if you are into development, automation, or DevOps, you can do both CCNP data center and DevNet professional certifications. Then combine it with DevOps and Kubernetes certifications as well. So let me highlight this. CTIE is still very important. Most HR and hiring manager will give you extra points and advantages. Preparing for CCIE increases the level of discipline and focus. So, do we have other extra level certification options? If you're talking about CCIE, we're talking about hands-on lab exam, right? So, I'm gonna drop those non-hands-on lab extra level certifications. The closest would be JNCIE or the Juniper expert level certifications. It has multiple tracks and it has both written and lab exam as well. We also have Fortinet and SE8 also have written and lab exam, but not multiple tracks. Others are lab exam plus documentation slash reports. You can do it remotely. You don't need to pay uh, for accommodations and flights. Uh, most of these are 24 hours lab and another 24 hours for documentation and reports, except for e-learn security certification exams. It's a seven day long lab exam and another seven days for reporting.
This is a little late, November 2010, when I passed my CCIE security. And you can't imagine how happy I was. I still remember that very day. And for some reason, I woke up 5 a.m. in the morning. This is just 12 hours after finishing my CCIE lab exam. And I don't usually wake up that early. So I checked my email and I passed. I couldn't believe it, really. And I went back to bed and I thought I was still sleeping. And everything was just a dream. But after 30 minutes, I couldn't sleep. So this means it's not a dream. Pack, pack, pack. It wasn't really a dream. And so I called my mom and my girlfriend and told them that I passed the exam. And also I updated my Facebook page. After all the sacrifices and all of the hard work, man, it feels so good. And uh, fast forward, I received this plaque. Okay, This is 10 years and it says congratulations on my 10th year anniversary as a CCIE. And this is my number. CCIE 27437. This means, this means, really, I'm already old.